Hey guys and gals, Joshua back on May 3rd, right in front of the convention center. This is where we did Jurassic Quest in the Skyway on Sunday, April 30th. So we're back in front of that building. I went inside and I saw some event going on. Blue Cross Blue Shield is holding some kind of uh, mock fundraiser for people who are sick and then they'll probably keep 80% of that money, probably 99% of that money. I wanted to hang out inside and do a video, but for some reason I didn't feel comfortable, you know, not, not really some reason. I wanted to respect what was going on. And I didn't really feel 100% comfortable with just standing there holding my sign indoors while the event was going on. So I talked to security and I talked to the event staff of the um, convention center. And I kind of felt led to not have confrontation with people, I guess, because I just, I want to try to keep things professional. I don't want to step on any toes. I want to make sure that I respect what's going on in there. And what I was told is that the convention center is public property, but if there's an event going on inside being rented out, that's the space, I'm basically not allowed to go in there unless the people who are running the event, like the people who are renting the space inside the facility, allow me to stay in there. And so Blue Cross Blue Shield right now, they're having an event where they have people riding exercise bikes, you know, probably like 20 or 25 people are riding on exercise bikes and they're being challenge to see how many miles they can go in a since 8 a.m. you know it is 2 p.m. here central time so they still have about 45 minutes or so let me see that yeah so, well 25 minutes that conversation with the establishment inside took a while and so they weren't gonna let me hang out in the convention center unless Blue Cross Blue Shield you know, allowed me to, and I wasn't going to ask them and go through the rigmarole of, hey, can I stand here and videotape you guys while I hold my sign about how satellites are fake? You know, so I just, I'm, I want to pick my battles. I'm not there to, you know, go against Blue Cross Blue Shield. Everybody needs health insurance. I understand that. I'm not, you know, I have health insurance. I need it because if something does happen to me, whether it be cystic fibrosis related or, you know, get hit by a car or whatever, you know, right? Um, I have that available for me. So, it, the conversation went really well. Um, I was able to share Flat Earth, well, not verbatim, but just inform the people who are actually head of the convention center. It was really great. Three gentlemen, they were really guy, nice guys. I don't remember their name, but uh, they were really cordial explained uh, what my rights were technically. Um, basically, I don't have any rights if I want to go in there because it is public property, but if there's an event, it's being, it's basically the building is owned by the event coordinators, if that makes sense. I say pick my battles because guess what? Guess what? This weekend, Starting on Cinco de Mayo, the convention center is going to have Comic-Con. Are you kidding me? They are going to have a bunch of Globies, Star Trek, Star Wars, you name it. People who just bathe in the establishment and science and gravity and everything. They're going to be here on Cinco de Mayo. And so as you can see in the background, that's the convention center. And they're really, they were like, if you want to be safe, you know, we allow people to go across the street, and I'm across the street right now. 
on public property filming. Just as long as I don't obstruct the people who are going back and forth, I can stand right here, you know, on this corner and just hold my sign and get some good interactions with people. You know, they might flame me. They might get angry with me and not agree with my signage, but whether they agree with it or not, that doesn't make that their viewpoint true. You know, it's still a faith. Have I been to the edge of the earth to see it's flat? No. But you can see the horizon on the ocean and see objects 150 miles away with a telescope. You know, so there, there is that. So they're based, let, let's just say, just for argument's sake, they're basing their information on NASA movies and whatnot, so it's faith-based. And if you want to go as far as what I am trying to encourage people to investigate, flat earth and satellites not being real and whatnot, that's my opinion. That's my, you know, faith. I'm putting faith in that, if you want to say that. So, what, you know, how whatever vernacular you want to use, I'm going to be here on Friday at 4 p.m. You know, maybe 3.30, 3 o'clock. I'll try to get here early so I can make sure I get the best spot as people are trafficking in and out in their cosplay outfits. You know, there's going to be a lot of cosplay, I'm sure, during Comic-Con this weekend at the Minneapolis Convention Center at 4 p.m. So we are going to be on location here. So we have our week plan until, yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, I have, I have a plan until Sunday. I have locations that I know I'm going to go to, so this is going to be action-packed this weekend. Um, today, you know, not so much action-packed. There's hasn't been too many interactions with people other than off-camera conversations with the gentleman who uh, are part of the convention center themselves. So, we'll try to find a place. I think we're going to go to Loring Park later tonight when people are off work and they're basking in the sun. Because right now it's about 18 degrees, light wind, still sunny. A lot of people are just uh, hanging out. I'm sure, you know, majority of the people are at work right now. So... I just encourage people just to pick their battles, you know. Don't step on anybody's toes. I don't want to give Flat Earth a bad name. You know, I don't want to go and be outrageous and blah, 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 Flat Earth, ah, you know, and start getting kicked out of here. Because I want to I want to use this establishment as a conduit to share the truth about satellites being fake. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys logging on and watching Authentic Intent. And we're going to mosey around. We might walk up the street here. Um, I do have that parking space still available, so I'm still, I am still got free parking. And I th think I might head over there soon, maybe around like 3-ish to make sure I don't get a parking ticket. And then after four, that space that I'm at is not monitored. So I can stay here until eight or so with no problems and I won't have to go back to my car. So I got about an hour and a half before I have to do that. Um, so I don't, really, I don't really know. Like we're just gonna kinda try to walk around, maybe be led to an area that I feel would draw some attention or f try to find some people who are congregating and kind of just go from there. Really appreciate everybody stopping by today and checking out another episode. So I'm really excited about tomorrow and Friday. I think we might have some really challenging interactions on Friday though. The Comic-Con, I don't know if anybody's ever been to Comic-Con. Uh, I have not. 
So if you can give me some suggestions on what to expect at Comic-Con. That is going on again. A little shameless advertising for them. This weekend at the Minneapolis Convention Center, starting at 4 p.m. Cinco de Mayo 2017. So what a coincidence, right? Cinco de Mayo, Comic-Con. Um, so we're just going to kind of mosey around Minneapolis. We have that in the background. Don't really know what to expect today, but I'd like to find a spot to squat and kind of see what happens. I think I might just go back down to Minneapolis at one of the busier corners and hang out there. Try not to get too deep into the buildings. Because I think there's a lot of interference. The video quality on my last video earlier today is subpar. I mean, what do you want from me? I'm surrounded by buildings. So, the quality of the audio was good. So, kind of just walk around here. Hope everybody's having a good afternoon, though. Hope it's nice and sunny where you're at, because it's beautiful here. Finally, right? But then again, it might snow tomorrow. It is Minnesota. Bipolar Central of the United States. Can't really figure out what it wants to do. It needs to be on medication, I'm sure. So that then it can stay in a comatose state and never learn. said but we'll just say yeah sure boss what did you say I mean I don't think the establishment is going to be super anal about my parking spot I wonder if I should go back and make it look like I'm there and then pop a squat somewhere here, or just whatever, you know, hang out, Let's see if we can get an idea of where we want to stand, and any corner really down here is as good as any. I just wanted to give you guys an update about that, and uh, maybe I'll just run back to my car, stand there for a minute, make it look like I parked there, so I don't get a ticket. The last thing I want to do is spend $35 on a parking ticket. So this is what we're looking at right now. Still downtown Minneapolis. There's your Hilton. So, it's Paris up there. Paris and the Hilton family probably never come here because this building looks like malarkey compared to the other skyscrapers. So, Let's do that. I'm going to go back to my car for a minute. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of some plans that's going to happen because I wanted to stand in, in the convention center 
and do a video, but, you know, just, I, I don't know. Just didn't really feel 100% comfortable, so I figured I'd ask for permission before I ask for forgiveness. Um, the opposite is usually my mantra, but, you know, I want to respect people's, uh, you know, what they're doing. I don't want to cause too much friction. Because I want to, I want to have a good vibe. I want to, I want to create a good environment in my bubble, you know, if you will. And, you know, it just wasn't their time. So, just walk up here a little bit. If anybody's playing GTA and you want to grab this armored vehicle, see if you can get away, take the briefcase from inside come on down maybe we could stand in front of the YMCA a little bit on our way back I'm getting a little hungry too so I haven't grabbed anything to eat yet so maybe I'll do that, get something to eat, and then we'll head back here, go live when I know for sure I don't have to come back to my car so that we can stay live for, you know, a good amount of time. So, here's a nice park here. Someday this will be prime pickings for the youth and people. So we're right in front of Brit's Pub in Caribou. So if you guys want to come out to this area, Brit's Pub, it's a good good place to eat, good eatery. And then you have the, uh, the YMCA here. So if you ever want to work out, <clears throat> a little shameless plug for the Y. But that's, that's about all I got. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update again. Don't want to sound too redundant, so I'll let it go. And I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. I'm going to get something to eat.